In previous video, we have configured authorization option on Swagger UI. Okay, now we can use this authorization you know option to provide a JWT in a header of each and every REST API. We have written a Swagger configuration in our Spring Boot application to enable this authorization option for each of each of these REST APIs. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to test all these REST APIs using Swagger UI itself. The first REST API we are going to test is sign up. So we are going to register a user and then we use that registered user to sign into the blog application. So in order to test the REST API, so click on sign up, sign up tab here and click on try it out. And once you click on try it out, you will get option here to you know to add a json object in a request body so here we are going to configure the json the email we are going to provide as admin admin strator okay at the rate gmail.com all right and uh, we are going to provide name as administrator password also as administrator and username also administrator okay so go ahead and click on execute so once you add this json in this uh, you know request body go ahead and click on execute so by default content type is specified as application json so go ahead and click on execute and there we go user registered successfully and look at here the curl this is the request so swagger internal uses curl to you know call the rest apis so this is the curl request so this is a very very you know useful guys if you are using curl to call the rest apis then you can just take a look into this curl option here okay so this is the post request this is the rest and url and the accept content type is json and then this is the request body pretty simple guys so now we have registered administrator user to our blog application. Now we're gonna we're gonna use a sign in REST API to you know sign into the blog application. So let's go and let's use this registered user to sign into the application. So just click on sign in tab over here, and in order to test this REST APIs, click on try it out, and go ahead and provide password here as a as an administrator let me undo and provide password as administrator you can provide a username or email both should work i'm going to provide email email here administrator gmail.com you can use administrator as a username as well okay now go ahead and click on execute and there we go once you click on execute you will get a response okay response with code 200 and this is the jw to token we got a jw to token as a response of the sign in rest api once we got this jw token we're going to use this jw token in all the request to call the rest apis for example in order to create a post we're going to use this jwt token in order to delete get update post or comment we're going to use this jw token now if we don't use jw token then our spring boot application will you know reject the request great so once we got a jw token now go ahead and test the post rest apis so first we're going to create a new post so click on create post tab over here and you can see try it out button click on that and just remove this comment we are going to only you know create a post so also remove the id here because ID will be created automatically by Hibernate using you know auto increment option. Just give title as my new blog post on Swagger with Spring Boot. So this is a title. I go ahead and copy this title and provide description as the same and content as the same. Okay. Alright, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna 
provide a JWT value in a you know header up this REST API so in order to get the JWT token so go to sign in REST API and this is a response so go ahead and copy this JWT value here okay and go to create post again and click on this authorize icon and look at here this JWT and go ahead and paste this JWT value and before that this is very very important guys so whenever you you know provide a JWT value first just you know provide b rare and then space okay and then followed by JWT token so this is very very important okay and if you don't provide this b rare you know and then space followed by JWT token then you will get unauthorized error because we have handled the header uh, in our you know code like this right for example let me show the code so if you go to JWT filter so look at here the token should be the token should start with b error okay this is a string I have added in a header okay great now click on authorize click on close and go ahead and click on execute and there we go a new post is successfully created in database and rest api return the response as this post you know object as a json with id 40 similarly let's go ahead and let's test other rest apis for example i'm going to test the put that is update post rest api so go ahead and click on try it out okay and i'm going to just copy this json from the create post rest api okay and go to again update post rest api and simply paste here and i'm going to change all these three fields like my new latest okay latest blog post my new latest blog post my new latest blog post so this is the updated content and we need to provide the id so the id is let me check the id id is 40 so i'm going to update the post with id 40 okay and uh, if you can see here the jwt token is already we have added we no need to add again close it and go ahead and click on execute and there we go my new latest post you know blog post on swagger with spring boot so title description and content is successfully updated okay all right now let's go and let's test delete so click on try it out and pass the id we're going to delete post with id 40 okay and uh, we need to only provide 40 as id here and then click on execute and there we go post entity deleted successfully all right it means that we have successfully tested post resource rest endpoints sign in sign up rest api similarly you can go ahead and you can test you know comment resource related rest apis okay so similarly you can test comment rest apis all right so this is how guys we you know configure swagger in spring boot and we can directly test spring boot rest apis using swagger ui itself and this is how we configure uh, you know swagger in order to support jwt in a header of each and every rest api all right in next video what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna use swagger provided annotation to customize the swagger documentation of the rest apis okay i will see you in next video